um, I'd dude, I'd I'd be ready to throw down. I'd be ready to 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 trade hands with uh, with some FSU fans right now. I'm hyped. The only time I met uh, John was the Friday night before the Gator game in Orlando. There's like a big huge party that Michael Irvin was putting. It was at a huge bar, and he comes like from like out of the corner, hits me in the chest, goes like, "You're Marsh, right?" I'm like, "Yes, <laughs> yes." Are you gonna hurt me? <laughs> yeah, dude, he he's. He, I'm telling you, he, that guy is like me when I'm 45 years old. I, I felt like I was just listening to my like my older self. Yeah. The ghost of Martin's future. Yeah. What a great episode so far! Holy hell! Oh um, yeah, and it's uh, it's just gonna get better, man. We got we got another great guest. So you ready? Uh, should I patch in Jay? Let's do it. Okay. Jay, what's up, brother? What's up? What's good, boss? Yo, 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 Jay, what's up, man? It's Marsh. I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. <laughs> all right, all right. We got the legend, Jay. Everyone knows him on Twitter. He's the biggest LeBron hater. Probably on our <laughs> Jay came for. Uh, hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Hold up. <laughs> hold on. I, I'm, I'm introducing you first. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what is, one of my favorite people on Kane's Twitter. I'll never forget oh we were when we were in Orlando last year, and I met Jay. He kept just telling me how tall I was. You remember I that? I remember that too. You the yeah. you the tallest six foot person I know, bro. Like you at least six foot. I was dying. I was laughing so hard. How you doing, man? Thanks for coming on. Man, I appreciate the invite. I'm chilling. I've been uh, I just got in my new spot, so I've been organizing all day. Okay. I was, you know, what I'm saying, trying to make some time for this. Yeah. See what y'all got going. Hey, I, don't don't call me no LeBron hater, bro. I don't hate the dude. Like we got <laughs> y'all got to chill on that already. Okay, okay. I'll, oh, Jordan, Jordan supporter. Then you're a big Jordan supporter. Is that is that sound better? I, I got a bone to pick with you, Jay. You kept oh, me up God. all night last night, bro. Bro, you <laughs> were going. It was five o'clock in the morning here in Utah. What the hell? Look, man. I I, I told Jordan earlier. I gave him credit because. Usually, Bron fans are annoying, so he wasn't repetitive or whatever, so I'll give him credit for that. But if I get caught in one, bro, it don't matter what time of the day it is. I just got to prove my point. I'm a Jordan I'm a Jordan supporter, but, like, I just – I keep it real, bro. I keep it real. If Bron was the GOAT, I would have gave it to him. Bro, how, uh, how excited are you for the last dance to be over so you can, like, stop arguing with LeBron fans? It's not going to stop. It, like, you saw, you saw it last night. What – what this little documentary is showing is who the GOAT really is and why he's the GOAT for all the people who didn't know. So all you about to hear from Bron fans is about his genes. You about to hear about, you know what I'm saying, his his drinking habits, his casino stuff. It's going to be everything but basketball because they know now. That's what it is. They know now. I don't know, man. I, oh, God. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. I can, it's coming, I, 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 dude. It's, I, I, I was ready to talk cage. Y'all did this, so don't blame me. It's all Mark's <laughs> fault. Everyone blame Mark. <laughs> okay, well, okay. Let's uh, let let's talk Canes really quickly. Um, what y'all got? Okay. Oh, now, now you got me upset that I didn't get a word in, but let's go. <laughs> well, let, let's get the Canes stuff out of the way first. Okay, so um, Jay, it's been a hot topic on our show lately. Um, Mike Rumpf. Like a few weeks ago, Jason Marshall didn't put us in. <sighs> we just lost a cornerback target. He went to Auburn today, four star. Are, what What is your stance on Coach Mike Rumpf? Is it time for him to go? Is he on the hot seat? Or are you are you one of the few and proud supporters of Mike Rumpf? I am not on – I'm not going to say I'm on either side. I'm not as deep into it as everybody else. I have my opinions here and there. But from what I've seen, he is good at making the most out of what he does get. But if you're talking strictly recruiting, bro, like it speaks for itself at this point. I just feel like, you know what I'm saying, people say what they had to say. They had their opinions for the past few years, and you didn't do anything to change that. You know what I'm saying? So I got to call it like I see it. And if you're talking strictly recruiting, if we're trying to get to that next level, bro, like you've shown us <laughs> what you're going to do. So either yeah. you got to change – you got to do something to change the opinions, but you can't have the rumor going and the opinions like out in the open and you're not doing nothing to change it. So I'm just going to say I call it for like I see it. Uh, I saw someone today put on Twitter. They're like, uh, said something about like, you know, rump slander on the timeline, and it had some gif of like a, a meerkat or whatever, you know. Mm. Uh, and and I just commented, I was like, at this point, 
any news, any recruiting news is rump slander, whether it's intentional or not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, the, the dude is not doing himself any favors, so. I, I mean, we, that's what I'm saying. Like, once it's out there, you got to do something to change it. Yeah. Like, when people started saying that LeBron was the GOAT, and then he goes 3-6 and six in the finals. You know what I'm saying? I was using that as an example. I ain't even trying to go there. <laughs> or when people yeah. said, you know what I'm saying, like, he wears a wig or whatever, and then it comes out that he really ain't got no hair. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to change that perception <laughs> once it's out there. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go down that conversation, but <laughs> what the hell just, as, a, just as an example. Just as an example, you got to change the perception once it's out there. Um, but we sticking to Canes. Go ahead, Marsh. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Marsh. All of a Next sudden, question, we're talking Marsh. to LeBron's hair. Next question, Marsh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay. Oh, um, oh, God. Hold on, let me compose myself. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Hey, I like hey. to use analogies, bro. I like to use analogies. Yeah, yeah. I mean... Mike Rumpf, LeBron hairpiece. Yeah, I, I guess it works. But hey, um, man, you got to make okay. it work. I want, I want to ask you two questions. Um, first off, ESPNU uh, yesterday, all day they were showing old Miami FSU games. Um, obviously, you're a diehard Kane. You know, you're very Definitely. involved in Kane social media. Everyone knows that. Where does Miami FSU rank in terms of the best rivalries in college football? We talk in history or current history because i feel like uh, that's two different conversations yeah I, I i say current 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 i feel like personally whether miami is good or bad people are watching so we're always relevant i don't care what no florida or florida state florida state fans say we're always going to be relevant people are always watching florida state not doing anything is killing the rivalry right now not even talking about against us but just in general now we are we in that mid category right now don't get me wrong <laughs> i'm not gonna even cap but when at least one of us is good the robbery is good now personally this last game bro like i went to that one this is the third one i've been to in a row only three games i've ever been to for this robbery like i remember how like depressed you were like going into the game how you just didn't feel any hype <laughs> <laughs> that's what it felt like bro there was no trash talking before the game like everybody was just like we all suck kumbaya you know what i'm saying like but for the game to, for them not to show up in the game, that irritated me. Like, I'm a very competitive person. So if y'all have the better record or if we have the better record, I want to see two teams compete. Like, that's what made the rivalry what it was all these years. Um, and I didn't see that from them. Like, win or lose. Like, if y'all just not going to show up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even want to watch it. Me being a Miami fan watching us blow them out, I could not enjoy that game because they didn't show up. And they didn't care. Yeah. And you could feel it. And, like, so, I mean, if you're talking current history and they, we pulling out games like that, like, it wasn't even fun to watch, bro. So well, I mean, and, like, compare that to, like, like, the hype that we were feeling the night before the Gator game in Orlando. Yes, completely different. And that's still with us not having accomplished nothing, you know what I'm saying? So I, I genuinely believe that rivals bring something different and where the records really don't matter. But for whatever reason this year, I just – they didn't bring anything. So I don't know. I can't put it up where – as high as I would like it to be, as high as I felt that it's been in the past, because something changed. I don't know what it is. Something changed. Yeah. No, I I think you're right, though. I, I There's something to be said about Florida State needing to pull their weight. Um, I 100% like agree with what you said about, uh, you know, Miami's always relevant, um, no matter what we're doing. You know, people are always watching specials and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and and really Florida and Florida State just try to tell us that we're not relevant cuz like we're a threat to them, right? Yeah, so definitely. It's kind of how like, you know, MJ always applauds Kobe, but he's always taking shots at LeBron cuz he's scared of him. He's he's uh I think MJ just is a is a real person, bro. Like he's honest. <laughs> LeBron had his shot, bro. No, I think he's really <laughs> threatened by the legacy that LeBron can put together. Not, bro. And the man and is, the man is 3 and 6, bro. <laughs> he Marsh, really Marsh, when I get off, I want three six mafia playing, bro. Play three six mafia when y'all kick me off of here. Oh, dude, I'm the I'm I'm the one that controls the music, so we'll uh we'll find Jordan. Something. Play three six I'm mafia when I get off here. Six <laughs> mafia on my, I got it on tap. <laughs> oh man, go to your iTunes if you got to. I want three six mafia playing when I get off. Yeah. All right, I got you. I got you. Okay. Um, next question I got for you. Okay, so the NFL draft is probably. Like, oh, Close to a month ago, four player, I think it was four Canes that were drafted, three signed as undrafted free agents. Who do you see having the, uh, the biggest impact for their team? 
That's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. I will say this. I don't know if I can answer your question directly, but I do like the whole Seahawks situation, bro. I had a lot of respect for the way all that happened and, you know what I'm saying, just the way it went down and DJ being able to play with Homer again. I think that's just, you know what I'm saying, image-wise, that's great for the program. Um, and I obviously, my opinion, DJ is pretty high. I, I'll keep that on Twitter for everybody to see. But the way he led our team this year, the way he was like, you know, the heartbeat of the offense and the most consistent player, in my personal opinion, on that side of the ball, like, I like that he's getting an opportunity because I didn't know how that was going to go with just the way the season went, you know what I'm saying? So with the way that, they, that I think they'll run the ball, I'm looking forward to that down the road. Okay. Jordan, what about you? Who do you think has the biggest impact as a rookie? Um, I don't know, man. I, 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 I think DJ is going to be a little buried. I mean, I, I think the Seahawks still have Chris Carson and they have Rashad Penny. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I, you know, I, I love KJ. I just love everything about KJ, his work ethic. I know they also drafted Justin Jefferson, the Vikings. Um, but dude, KJ is just one of those guys that, he, like, I'm just not sure you can keep him down. You know, um, he wasn't recruited, so he went to Buffalo, and then, you know, and then he turned it into Miami, and then he turned that into being drafted. And so, like, I'm never betting against KJ. Um, if I had to bet on one of these guys being a breakout player, it's probably him. Yeah, yeah he's got that dog mentality. I love yeah. it about KJ. Um, for I like me, the work ethic, man. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he's a the workhorse, bro. Like, he gets it. He gets it. I don't yeah. even mean to cut you off, Mark, but I will. I do got to speak that on uh, KJ. The first day he got here, he showed who he really was just by, you know what I'm saying, the extra time that he was putting in and everything to be example for other people, kind of like what Mike did in Chicago. But, I mean, you really need a leader like that who knows what it takes to get there, and I feel like KJ is that guy as opposed to somebody who don't really pull his teammates along, you know what I'm saying? But go ahead, you were saying? No, I was uh, – so my – I think – and people are going to moan and groan. My breakout rookie is Jeff Thomas. I think, rookie season or, or just the rookie? Impact, I mean, impact in general. I think oh, okay. New England was the best place that he could go. I think Belichick, Belichick is going to work with him. And, I, I mean, you make one slip up in New England, you're out. Like, look at yeah. him. Ryan, he was there for a week. I – I mean, I get what you're saying, but because of that, I actually – I think Jeff Thomas is going to get cut before the end of the season in New England. Do you think he makes the 53? Um, I don't know, but I I just don't think he can exist on that team. He just doesn't – I mean, I think that was the worst place he could have gone just because, like you said, you know, I, I think I, – I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. You know, you could be right that, like, Belichick could be a guy that inspires Jeff Thomas to turn things around. Um, but – like, from what I know about him, it doesn't seem like a strict environment was a great place. But I could be wrong. You know, I've never met Jeff, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 50-50 on that one. Yeah. yeah it, I mean, it could either go either way. I mean, it could e- either work like it did with Randy Moss or he'll be like Albert Hainsworth with, with the Patriots. It, it, or... let, let me ask you all a quick question as all far right. as Jeff Thomas is concerned. I have a personal opinion on him that I talk about in the group chat a lot because we go back and forth about Jeff. I think that what we saw was not necessarily his character. I felt like that was the result of something. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the situation he thought he was getting himself into, he realized it wasn't that. He tried to leave. We made him promises in Miami. On Miami's end, we didn't really keep it. You know what I'm saying? On what we told him we was going to get or what we told him we was going to give him. So the opportunities were there. We didn't make the most of his opportunities for him. And I think that that's what started to show up. Because early season, every year, he was there. He was ready. You know what I mean? But then as the season tailed on, and I felt like he's seeing, he seeing his, his NFL potential or his draft potential or whatever going down because of how the season's going. And I think he just emotionally took that worse than he probably should have. I don't know what you guys think about that. No, it, um, you know, I, I, I'm a huge fan of Jeff Thomas's talent. Same, same. I love watching him play football. But unfortunately, it just it, – you hate to say it, but it, it wasn't a good fit, him yeah. at Miami. Like, I mean, it, when he has that – much you know going on off the field issues like it you know that it just wasn't going to work and it really is a shame because talent wise there's no way in hell he shouldn't have been or or he should have uh he should have been drafted 
Like, there's yeah. no way that he should not have been drafted for how talented. 